Jamaica has to refresh its brand. The brand is probably our most uh, important intangible asset that we have. If you consider what brings people to Jamaica, it is the allure of the brand. Our flag is probably one of the top five most recognizable flags in the world. I believe you would look at the United Kingdom, the United States, Brazil, and then Jamaica. That's how powerful our brand is. But we can't just leave it there and believe that the brand is going to always be powerful. It is going to always attract people. We can't just leave it there and believe that the brand is going to evolve and increase its capital without us being proactive and instrumental in determining what the brand means. And what has happened to us over the last 40 years as the brand is evolving is that it has started to mean things that could be detrimental to us. And so we have actually hired an international firm that does branding, driven mainly because the brand drives tourism. So that's a big part of why we have taken this kind of strategic approach to our rebranding. But there are other things that we need to do with our brand as well, which is to preserve the cultural value and the cultural assets that exist in Jamaica. We say we have this large creative industry, but we haven't really managed to monetize it. And we need to be able to properly identify it and define it. And so we're going through this process of rectifying, restructuring, redefining who we are as Jamaicans and what it means to be Jamaican.